Hey, Mark Meldrum, Meldrum's Monster Garage, and today, Mobile Tech Marky. Boy, we got a lot planned for today. You know, in addition to getting the 72 big block ready to put back in the car, I've got a new uh, flywheel here that came from Summit. I gotta, I gotta thank Patty too. This thing came early in the morning. Uh, you know, one day delivery. I ordered it last night and here it is already. Came in this morning, I was already gone. And uh, Patty had to drag this big flywheel back into the garage. Thank you. You're not supposed to lift over 15 pounds right now but uh, because of your gallbladder surgery. But thank you for dragging it into the garage. Anyway, like I said, the, it was a big day for Meldrum's Monster Garage. Mobile Tech Marky went out with uh, Mike Ely and Larry Robinson and Bob Epley. And we had several stops to make. So... Uh, we're gonna we're gonna stop and help a Chevelle a fellow Chevelle Club member. That's uh, first on our list, and then we're gonna head down to the junkyard. We hear they got a, a '60 Impala down there that might help us out with our '59 Impala project. And then we got a special treat. We're off to Greg Pruitt's house. Greg Pruitt from the Cleveland Browns, and we'll show you what we got going on with him. So here we go. All right, Linda started it up for us real quick, and it was making a terrible, terrible knock. And uh, we think it's on this side. And it, it's not, yeah, it's not a rod. Or, it sounds like a, a push rod. And she said she had a problem with a push rod a couple years ago. So that's why we're attacking this side first. And I had my hand on it when she started it. Yep. And there goes Larry dropping bolts. But uh, we'll find them. In a header. As long as he didn't drop it down the carburetor, we'll be okay. Now we see what the problem is. We took the other valve cover off over there by Uncle Larry. No issues. But this side, wow. Look at this one right here. And you guys think see another one? Right here. Both of them. This one, yeah. Whoa, look at how far backed off I would get this a nut is. Part. And this one is actually, looks like it's upside down or something. Yeah, there's two nuts on there. Two nuts on there. Oh. A... So we got to get some new lockers here. Yeah. What do we call them, Larry? Poly locks. locks. <laughs> Uncle Larry. Ask Linda to order a whole new set of uh, uh, nuts for the uh, drivetrain there. And there's no bent push rods or anything. We see that there was a double nut on one of the uh, push rods. This is a solid lifter motor, so uh, that's why everything looks so dug, dug on tight on it. So we'll bring our feeler gauges out here and, and redo this once she gets some new nuts. But uh, thankfully, that's all we see on this car. We don't see any bad, bad things. It's making a terrible racket when he, she turns it over and it starts, but that's obvious why that issue is. We pulled the uh, dipstick. Uh, there's no uh, silver on the oil, so it looks good. All right, our field trip of Cleveland continues. Now we're at McMahon's auto wrecking. Mike's leading the way. He's like a celebrity here. We should be able to get in and out of here and look at a nice 60 Impala. Look at that. A fun day at the wrecking yard. The claw, the claw. Uh, McMahon's auto wrecking and we're looking at a 1960 Impala. And while there's some similar things to the 59, not everything is similar. But uh, I'm gathering a bunch of information on this that's helping me out. Like the dashboard's the same, and and uh, a lot a lot of things are very similar as far as uh, going together goes. And I can see the clips I've got here for that piece around the bottom. I've got that installed correctly. And I just need to find the piece. But the uh, whole front grille is way different on a 60. Very different, but the windshield's very similar. I'm gonna pull the, let me stop and pull the hood. Larry, what kind of motors this got in it? Uh, 348. Wow, trips. So, at least it's got a transmission. Yeah, it's got well, it does, don't it? Don't yeah. Put a four shift in it. And, and look at that wiper motor is way different than the 59. Oh, that's strange looking. Strange, that's, that's a manual one. It doesn't pull down all the way. 
Very interesting. Does it bolt up underneath like that? Yeah. There's your horn. Sitting in the uh, 60 Impala, and very similar to the 59 as far as the dashboard goes. A little bit different things here and there. But uh, this has got a four speed you said that. down there. Gas the pedals. The window, out of that car, huh? window regulator I could use, but this one doesn't look like it works. It's all it's all locked up on me. That's not a good thing. I need that. But I do need the glass on this side. So that would be good. Alright. Mobile Tech Marky with Mobile Tech Larry and Mikey and Bobby. Now we're at Greg Pruitt's house. And this is his truck from the Cleveland Browns. Believe that or not. And we're here to take this away. Take it back to Mike's. Take it back to Meldrum's Monster Garage and get her going. She's uh, seen her better days. So we got to get her down this narrow driveway and onto the trailer and then back to the Monster Garage. Here we go. Car's going down there. Tell me we don't have famous people on Meldrum's Monster Garage. Just try to tell me. Look who we got here. It's the amazing Greg Pruitt. Not Mike Pruitt, but Greg Pruitt. <laughs> Go Browns. Go Browns. Woof, woof, woof. We're taking his truck back to Meldrum's Monster Garage. And we'll get Mike and Larry and Bobby and I. We'll get this thing all fixed up.